hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your pc for better fps in ashes of creation this is a relatively new game and it has a tons of bugs and i myself had a ton of issues while recording it and i fixed everything so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that as well so make sure to stick around until the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and then head over to personalization. Then click on colors and then you have to disable transparency effects. This will disallow your windows and surfaces appear translucent. After that, head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off as it will help you to disable the game bar service which is actually an overlay service which runs in the background while you play the game. Once that is done, head back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn it on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background background helping you to optimize your FPS. Then click on the graphics settings underneath and you have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you to reduce unwanted input latency and then click on advanced graphics settings to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this will help you to utilize your GPU to render the games. Once that is done click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game. If you are unaware of it simply right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Over here, copy this file path and then head over to add desktop app button and then paste it over here. Then head over to game, AOC, binaries, Win64 and select the Win64 shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here and once that is added, select it and for the GPU preference, select high performance and make sure that you are utilizing your graphic card. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is actually compatibility settings and for that, go to the same location where you have installed your game, head over to game, AOC, binaries, Win64 and then you'll find the Win64 shipping file. Right click on that, head over to properties, head over to compatibility, select disable full screen optimizations over here and this will help you to fix any kind of black screen issues that you might be facing. Then select change high DPI setting and select this option. Click on ok and then ok once again and once that is done you can simply close this. Next step is disabling background apps and for that you have to simply search for edit group policy. Simply look up for edit group policy and this step will only be available for windows pro users. So once you're over here you have to double click on computer configuration, then administrator templates, then windows components and then app privacy. Here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and then set it to enabled. This will make sure that the policy is enabled and then default for all applications should be set to force deny. This will deny all of the applications running in the background and it is how you do it in windows 11. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, network issues and ping issues using LagoFast. I have left a free download link to LagoFast right in the description below. And once you open it up, you'll see a simple interface like this with more than 500 games to choose from. All you have to do is simply search for Ashes of Creation from the search button over here and select the game. Then you have to select the server. You guys can choose the nearest region to you. For me, it would be Europe. And then you have to choose the server with the lowest ping possible. Select the server and click on one click boost. This will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance, helping you to reduce your ping, packet loss, jitter and unnecessary or unwanted network issues. LagoFast has a ton of game tools over here including translation facility, fix C++ issues, fix memory optimization assistant which helps you to clean up your memory while you're playing the games. Simply click on optimize memory and it will release your RAM. It has a decompression boost tool where you can select your drive and click on enable and it will help you to boost your drive's performance. Also, it has a DirectX 12 component installation in case your games are crashing. You can simply install it on your PC in one click. And while you're purchasing a subscription, make sure to use my coupon code to get additional discounts over here as well. Once again, I have left a free download link to LagoFast right in the description below for you guys to go and check it out. Try it and let me know how it works for you. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. I once over here select best performance. Then enable save taskbar thumbnail previews. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. After that, click on the apply button. Make sure that you have enabled these four settings and disabled every other one as this will help you to reduce unwanted animations on your PC. Next step is disabling unwanted services. And for that simply search for system configuration on your PC. And after that, head over to services. Here, select hide all Microsoft service and start disabling the services which you do not use right after you boot your PC. These are all of the services which runs in the background and it utilizes your CPU processes. 
you don't want them so simply start disabling these services and it will help you to free up your cpu resources click on apply after that and simply close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc look it up and then select your local disk c click on the create button and name it ashes of creation then click on the create button make sure not to skip this step to restore all of your settings back to normal in case anything goes once that is done simply click on close and close system properties the next step is ashes of creation fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below once you're over here you'll find six simple folders designed to optimize your pc the first one is cpu priority in which i have left intel and amd optimizations it helps you to set up the correct D word value for your CPU for better FPS. If you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply this priority here. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply this priority over here. Second folder here is RAM optimization, which helps you to prioritize and optimize your RAM for better performance. So for that, you have to find your RAM in this list. For me, I have 32 GB, so I have to double click and apply this one. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can reset it back to default. The third folder here is Ashes of Creation Priority, in which I have left above normal, high priority, and normal priority. I'd recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. The fourth folder is Disable Unwanted Services, in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless, and you don't want them on your PC. They're running in the background, consuming your useful system resources, and to fix them, simply double click and apply all of these services, except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services. Once that is done, you can head over to revert registries folder if you want to turn them back on. Then head back to the fifth folder, which is batch tweaks, which includes disable memory compression, disable process mitigation, and latency tweaks. Over here, I'd recommend you guys to run all of them as administrator, and this helps you to fix memory compression, fix process mitigation, and help you to improve your input latency. You can edit them in Notepad to see what commands are there running on a PC. The sixth folder here is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You have to right click and then run it as administrator select yes and then press enter to delete all temporary files from your pc it is safe and i would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then once that is done press enter then msi mode utility v3 simply right click and then run it as administrator once you are here find your graphics card and then select the msi button next to it then for the inter priority select high and click on the apply button this will ensure that your graphic card is handling interrupts on a higher priority to make sure your performance is uninterrupted last is pro pc optimizer which is a one-click optimizer for your PC. You can double-click to open it up, press yes, and then press enter and enter once again. This will create a restore point just for your safety. Once that is done, press enter and this will apply all of the best settings for all of your hardware and software on your PC to optimize it for maximum performance with no additional steps. Once all of that is done, you can simply close it. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache. A lot of times this game makes huge errors with unwanted or corrupted shaders. And for that, you can simply search for disk cleanup on your PC, open it up, select your local disk C and then select your DirectX shader cache over here. Along with delivery optimization files, recycle bin if any, the main option that we need over here is DirectX shader cache. Make sure that this is checked, click on the OK button and delete files. This will force your game to re-render all of the shaders to make sure that you are not using any corrupted ones and this will help you to optimize your performance. Once all of that is done, you can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright guys, once you are in the game, press your settings key and then you have to head over to display settings. Make sure that your display mode is set to windowed full screen over here and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Head over to graphics and then for the graphics quality, head over to medium. For the global illumination, go with low. View distance, keep it medium. Anti-aliasing, medium. Post processing, low. Shadows, keep it low. Textures, medium. Effects, medium. And foliage, you can keep it low. After that, you'll find super resolution and sampling. I would recommend you guys to go with DLSS if you have an NVIDIA based graphics card or use FSR if you have AMD based graphics. Then for the super sampling mode, utilize performance mode over here or ultra performance. Both of them works absolutely fine. And frame generation, you can turn it on if your PC supports it. Once you're done with that, you can simply close it and drop into the game for the best FPS possible. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because you are really close to 150,000 subscribers and your sub would definitely be a Appreciated a ton. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.